Okay, so welcome back. Today I am going to do my, I don't know how to pronounce this, Infuo. I, I don't know. I have eight of them. So let's just go ahead and get started. So first up is going to be NFU66. And this is a slightly tinted green, linear hollow. Apparently there's two versions of this um, holographic grouping. Um, I think I have the older version, which is as least holographic, um, where the others are pretty holographic. These are not, so I got gypped. <laughs> But I think I also came into the polish game a little after, so. So here is 66. And they expect you to use an aqua base for the bottom of these. Um, these two black ones are being saved, so. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I'm going to come over here. So here is NFU 66 for the first coat. And I think all that aqua base does is, I don't really know what the aqua base does. I think it makes it so that your nail is smooth. Mm, don't know. Next we have NFU 65. So unique. So unique. So this is a blue. A light blue. And there's the brush. And I love these bottles. Not only are they aesthetically pleasing to look at, but they are the handles of the, the wands are quite comfortable to hold which is very odd considering that they look like a bustier hmm. but they're very comfortable and you can see that the green is already almost dry and it does have a, a good holographicness to it next we have 64, which is a purple. I mean, I love these bottles. I think they're so pretty. There's the brush, and these are very smooth. And again, look at the blue. I mean, look at the difference from when I put the purple on to the finish. I mean, right here, you can hardly see any hollow. You see a little bit right up at the top there. But then as it's drying, the hollow becomes more apparent and a lot more. Hello. Okay, next up, <clears throat> 62. And this is the nude color. <coughs> okay, so there's the brush. And you can see the difference on the purple already. All pretty opaque in two coats. Okay. Let me keep that to the side so you can kind of watch it maybe. So here we have 63. <laughs> you can see that that's getting more hollow as it dries. And this is the pink. And there 
there's the brush of the pink. And here's our swatch. And, of course, we have 61, which you can't have a holographic collection without a holographic silver. So here's the silver. Pretty standard silver. Hollow. Okay, so there is the silver. Now next we're going to do the two toppers. This one is number 40, and it's just your standard um, flaky. It's mostly blue to green. brush and I'm going to do it by itself and over black so there's one coat by itself and then we will have one coat over black Okay, and next we have <clears throat> number 59, <coughs> and this is in like a reddish base, but it's got those green to gold to red flakies in there. Every now and then you can kind of see a blue. Like on the deepest ends there in the shade you could see the blue and there's the brush and it's a weird tint color here's one coat like brown And then we're going to do one coat over the black. Okay, now we're going to go back and look at all those rainbows. Woohoo! All right, so we are back to number 66, which is the very light green. Here's the second coat. Mm, it's two coats. Okay, then we have the blue, which is number sixty five. purple which is number 64 The Nude, which is number 62. And I think that, like, you could see those lines in there. I think that aqua base is supposed to stop that. So 
So here is the second coat. the pink which is number 63 now it looks like it's also kind of like reacting with my latex you can kind of see like cracks so I'm guessing the aqua base kind of helps to stop all that reactiveness <laughs> And then we have number 61, which is the silver. And again, I don't give my holographics enough love. I really need to start. I love them so much. I just buy them and buy them and buy them and then I never wear them. <laughs> Okay, and we have number 40, which is the clear flaky. And this one is going to be its second coat on its own. Okay, and then two coats over black. Not necessarily that you need it. Um, I'm just doing this to kind of show coverage. And you can kind of see the blue and the purple shift in there a little bit from where it sits. And then we have number 59 by itself in that weird brown colored base. Kind of looks like flames in there. And then over black. Okay, so now I'm just going to pause the video and let all of these dry, and we'll come back. Okay, so now that we are all dry, and you can see the holographicness loveliness, we have NFU 66, NFU 65, and yes, I do get a kick out of saying FU. <laughs> NFU 64, NFU 62, and hang on one second because I think top coat dulls this effect. So I'm going to put it on number 64 here. And I'm kind of going to put it on half and half. And it's safe, so it should dry quick. So you can see I put it on and it changed it, but it's wet. So again, this is 62. This is 63. Number 61. Then we have number 40 all by its little lonesome and it does dry kind of shiny and those do dry flat so and then we have number 59 and i just nicked it there so it's not completely dry but there it is by itself not really neither one of these are really meant to be worn by themselves so here is number 40 over orly's liquid leather you can see when I shift, it shifts to blue, to green, to um, purple. There's a little bit of purple in there. And then we have number 59 over Orly's liquid leather. And you can see the red, the green, the gold. Um, probably if I brought it up a little more, you could see blue. But I don't want to break the wheel. So that is that. 
and let's give it a couple minutes for sage to dry. And I'll be back. Okay, so let's take a look. So what do you guys think? Sash is over here. You can see it's shinier. Does it dull the hollow at all? I mean, these dry pretty shiny themselves, and with the holographicness, you don't. I don't think you really need top coat. But I guess if you're looking to make it last a little longer, I don't know. I don't think it did. Yeah, actually, I think it did. Maybe, because if you, like, look down. Oh, shit, guys, I don't know. I mean, it still looks pretty shiny right there through the center. But there, it looks like it's more on fire. I don't know. I guess it's up to you guys what you would want to do if you wanted to top coat it or not. I'm having a difficult time being able to tell. I don't think it did, and I think if it did, it did it slightly. Yeah, I think maybe slightly. Okay, but anyway, and I fidgeting around with that. There is my small NFU NFU O collection. <laughs> um, I'd like to get some more of the flakies. But, I don't know. They're so hard to come by. And I don't know why. Um, but as always, I thank you for watching. And I hope that you all have a terrific day. And I'll see you soon. Bye.